what's up guys welcome back for another death row duel video um, this time finally pretty much all the glitches have been fixed i'm still on the update so not official so i can't play online although i found a way to play against friends so no computer with uh yet yeah, a retarded place um the deck profile is at the end of the video so off to the first game Okay, the first deck I was playtesting against was uh, Pendulum Gadgets, and I think he gets a start. And he has pretty much a retarded opening with Goldfish, Green Gadget, uh, and yeah, the Supply Unit, the Horn, the Phoenix Chain. That's pretty much a perfect opening hand, so immediately he goes, yeah, obviously makes the best play and goes for Gear Gigant X, searches out another Goldfish and passes with Double Set Back Row. Um, looking at my hand, I draw Double Riffin. Double Riffin, yeah, Riffin is the, the level 1 uh, tuner. Uh, set the traps and the supply unit. So, okay, and also with, so with the soul charge in hand, uh, I see options. If he uh, somewhat uh, yeah, attacks into my Riffin, I can uh, go through my monsters in my deck, set up the soul charge, and the trap stun set, I can make a big play. So, that was my plan at the moment. Um, he obviously again goes for the goldfish. Activates his cross, search out the gadget, immediately goes for the huge advantage. And I'm going to set up my grave. So uh, Shunge is the last that's going to be special summoned. And then go for another Riffin, indeed, the Dragon Star Tuner. Then he's, yeah, he's going to make uh, Dweller, and Dweller is uh, yeah against Mermails, also a, a nice win condition. Because yeah, it obviously negates my Dragon Stars. I draw into another supply unit, so I'm going to activate it, he has no response. Then I don't want to run into Warning or the Horn, so that would make my Trap Stun useless. Uh, so I'm not keeping him for Bottlemus, so activate Trap Stun right off the bat and Special Summon. Three, I believe, monsters from my grave thanks to Soul Charge. Paid 3000 life points, but that's definitely worth it. Since now I can go for Shofuku, bounce back, I believe three, no, two back rows. And uh, the Dweller, since yeah, the Dweller was priority number one. And then use uh, Shofuku's effect to special summon the Dragon Star from my grave. And also get, not, yeah, not forget that, get uh, two draws in the process. And I think I, I set up my trap stun, I'm not sure. Yes, I uh, did, yeah, did not set my, uh, my Mirror Force because the Excited Knight was too obvious. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to lose my Mirror Force just yet. Then, yeah, Shunge activates, so special summon the Heikan from my deck. And you know, pretty much normal summon Mask Chameleon. Chameleon is pretty much a one card exceed or one card synchro. So, Mask Chameleon into Shofuku at least bounces one card from the opponent back to his deck. So that, yeah, gets his Excite Knight out of the field, then go for the themed uh, Pot of Everest, so send back three Dragon Stars from my grave, draw two cards, excellent, excellent, so set the Trap Stone, set the Bottomless, and set the Mirror Force, I believe, pretty solid, uh, and I think, yeah, he's going to Normal Summon his Gadget, uh, yeah, Normal Summon the Goldfish, Special Summon the Gadget, and go for uh, Art Knight, I believe, so I'm going to activate my Bottomless. And yeah, not letting him detach my material, so I would lose my Shofuku, and that's game over. So GG, that Soul Charge with that Trap Stun was pretty big. Um, next, uh, Chaos Reigns, and I think he's got to, yeah, he gets to start. Normal summons is Lila, and mill three cards right off the bat. Uh, the Eclipse, banishing the Red Eyes already, a nice start on his part. Look at my hand, the Trap Stun, Finish Chain, again the Soul Charge, that's pretty nice. Normal summon Shofuku, that's a nice advantage. Uh, Shof uh, the, I mean, uh, uh, Shunge, Shunge, yeah, with, uh, that's a nice advantage Shunge has, is that is, uh, it has 1900 attack. So that's a pretty nice beat stick. Here I know probably either Messier 7 or maybe Bouncer is uh, coming up. So, But I think uh, finishing the Chaos here was, was more important since I don't want to lose my, my uh, Shunge on board. And of course he goes to Messier 7, he can bounce my monster or he can bounce his, yeah, one of his monsters in his grave. And I think maybe he should have bounced one of my monsters. Because now I can just set up my uh, field in my grave. Uh, although, yeah, he doesn't know that I have the Soul Charge in hand. So I special summon the Riffin and draw into Metalization, I believe it's called on here. Um, but it got a new name. I believe the card is now called uh, Incarnation. It's uh, pretty much an Abyss Sphere for the deck. So when a monster on my side of the field is destroyed, either by battle or by a card effect, I can use Materialization as yeah, its effect to special summon a Dragon Star from my deck. So it's pretty much an extra summon. And it's a continuous trap, so the card is very nice. Um, he passes with an open field, and that just screams for the course. Uh, but Catester is at 2 8, thanks to uh, Shunge's attack boost. So attack with 2-8 and his token is a light, so Catester is still paying off. 
and set the yeah, no, one of the new Dragon Stars released, Bishiki, I believe it's called. It makes your synchros unaffected by traps. Uh, your normal summon is Lila, and luckily he doesn't destroy my metalization. So I'm going to activate it in a moment, and he goes for the Maestro. A strange move, I don't... Maybe he doesn't have a lot of outs against Catester, maybe Art Knight, probably not in the extra deck. Uh, so now I activate the uh, materialization and also activate the Riffin in my grave due to yeah, a Dragonstar monster was destroyed on my side of the field, so I can special summon Riffin from my grave. And thanks to the monster, the Bishiki that was destroyed, I can special summon the Shunge from my deck. And with materialization, I special summon Heikan. And that's boom, just special summons. The Innocent show Fuku to the field, so bounce back three cards on my opponent's side of the field, and that just leaves him with a dead course. So this is pretty much game over. Uh, yeah, going to activate the themed Pot of Everest, so target three Dragon Stars, draw two new cards, hopefully a monster, because yeah, obviously with combination with Supply Unit and uh, uh, Metalizations, get some searches off, no monsters, so I'm forced to destroy the useless Phoenix Chain, not bad. But it could have been better. So special summon the Shofuku attack, so I can get the materialization off and the supply unit. Uh, that's pretty disgusting. Pretty nice combination with both cards. Uh, yeah, definitely one of the advantages Dragon Stars have. And set a nice back row. And again, I think I have the call set. So call on the Shunge with the Riffin on the field, the Heikan. Again, equals uh, maybe start a Spark Dragon or again another Shofuku. And yeah, the one Lila is not going to save him here. So good game. Okay, the last duel of the video. Opponent is playing the um, Bujins, of course. And I, th I think I get to start the yeah, activate supply unit right off the bat. Set the call and the MST and the Riffin. No, the Heikan indeed. Then he's going to MST one of my back rows, random MST probably, uh, hopefully that uh, he hit one of my MSTs, or at least the MST set. He misses an act, yeah, destroys a call. MST is tanky, so no Yamato, although he opens with Yamato, they always open with Yamato. And he attacks it to my monster, so I get a draw off and special summon Riffin from my deck. So draw into Chameleon and also have a soul charge in hand, so I do have a few options ready. Then, the, but yeah, the, the Yamato does need to, uh, need, yeah, as quickly as possible, it needs to get out of the field. So I normal summon Chameleon, try to reborn the Heikan that's in my grave, uh, but the bottomlessness, so no uh, Synchro for me. Um, then yeah, just pass with two extra back rows, nothing more I can do, sadly. Uh, again, he goes to the battle phase, attacking my monster, and then I activate the Metalization. So, both Metalization the Riffin that is to start by battle and the supply unit trigger. So thanks to Riffin, I can special summon the Shunge from my deck, draw an extra card. And thanks to Materialization, I can special summon the Riffin from my deck. And as soon as he ends his main phase, I can boom, special summon again, Shofuku. Go just YOLO. He could have activated Compulsory on one of my monsters, but maybe yeah, he didn't know what was coming, I don't know. Uh, or he didn't want to make the, the minus one on one of my monsters. Uh, but yeah, now he pretty much lost his whole field. He also could have composed his, uh, his Yamato and normal summon it again. Uh, although, yeah, as you see, I have two Soul Charge in hand. Uh, I have a lot of options. I think, yeah, reborn four monsters from the grave, pay 4000 life points, which is again a hefty life point cost. But if you can establish a field that your opponent cannot uh, yeah, destroy in his next turn, it's pretty much game over for you. Um, so again, uh, activate both materialization and the supply unit. And I think I'm going to synchro summon yeah, for Stardust Spark Dragon, which is an excellent, excellent field. Supply unit, materialization, Stardust Spark, and uh, the Shofuku. He reveals the Yamato, but I reveal the finish chain, and that's the scoop phase. Uh, so again, GG. Off to the decklist. The archetype got more cards. A few new Dragon Star monsters are confirmed. Uh, one that makes your synchro unaffected by traps, and one by spells. Although both their stats aren't that good. The deck is pretty straightforward. Combo searching into Shufuku and bounce back cards. Chameleon is a one card synchro or exceed, and Soul Charge needs no explanation. A new trap card they got is called Incarnation. Uh, you can compare it with Abyss Sphere. It's an amazing card, definitely played at 2, uh, and currently I really like it at 3. Last, they also got a new spell card, card uh, called uh, Leilin, I believe, and uh, it has a few different effects depending on how many different Dragon Star attributes you have in your grave. And if you if you have all five in your grave, you can send Leilin to the grave. It's a uh, continuous uh, spell uh, to the grave, so to destroy all cards on the field. 
I'm not main decking it at the moment. Um, although, yeah, getting five uh, Dragon Stars in your grave, different Dragon Stars, is not that hard. But uh, yeah, it maybe doesn't doesn't work very well in combination with your themed Pot of Everest. Um, but yeah, also the first effects of uh, Leilin uh, are very subpar. They they aren't really that good, and it, it can also be MST since it's a continuous trap. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely take one, of course. Um, okay, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.